Yes, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the wonderful land of Vardenfell. Today, we are hopping back into Elder Scrolls 3 for a bit of playtesting for a upcoming, you know, probably expected How to Battle Mage video. Uh, we'll also be doing some mod playthroughs because there's some cool things coming through on the Nexus recently. Mainly the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the Shulk Egg Mine remastered uh, plug-in, or not plug-in, mod that came out recently, which looked fantastic. And I gotta say, I am a huge fan of these OAB data remakes of a lot of these more, I don't I want to call them boring, plain, storied, how about you, uh, the mundane, I don't, I don't know the right word, but when modders come in and just totally remake some of these more, you know, plain dungeons from the main quest and give them like totally new life, although Shulk's technically fighter skilled, but it may as well be the main quest because it's so early on for everybody. But since we're battle maging, let's uh, let's go ahead, pick a good name, and I guess to set the stage here, what I'm going for when I'm thinking of how to battle mage, uh, we're we're going to be going for a heavy armor fighter mixed with a bit of conjuration, a bit of destruction. You know, somebody who's going to be on the front lines taking people freaking down with their axe and a fireball point blank to the face, as is tradition. And who do I think of when I think of that kind of thing? <sighs> that is a tough one. That is a tough one. Well, let's just keep it simple here. Let's go for Merlin. Battle Mage, better than everything in existence, don't cry, has let his opinion be known. We back, we are back. Just before the new year. Merry everything, everybody. I hope hope you all had a fantastic holiday season, getting geared up for 2024. God, that's crazy to say. Where, where'd the freaking time go, Jub? You stole it all. I was making all, all these Morrowind videos. <laughs> Never seen it live. Well, welcome in, Luca. Jub live and in the flesh, in concert. He toured here all the way from the mainland, just for you. Packed out stadium. And then we got our buddy over here in the Colovian fur. Looking solid. And, uh, yeah, like I mentioned here at the start, I know we just got some people joining in. We're doing some battle maging. We'll also be doing a little bit of a mod playthrough. Um, so, yeah, it should be a nice... Nice little time here. Okay, now for Battle Mage, I'm gonna hit a Breton on this particular build. Again, this is play test, and we're still fleshing it out. You gotta make sure every how-to video is fun. So I always play test everything. Uh, my other thought, besides a Breton, would have been like a, like a Red Guard just for the adrenaline rush. But they don't really have anything magical about them. They but they get the axe and the heavy armor, you know, which is typically like really Battle Magey. Um, I think it could still work if you still take the Atronach, take an Intelligence Specialization, but we're going to go nice and magical. We're going to pick the Breton here. Old Carlos Linnaeus looking scholar guy. Let's, uh, let's switch up the hair a little bit. You know, I'm not feeling that Friar Tuck look today. This is kind of nice. This looks like, uh, you know, that guy who used to do Good Morning America. This is like a Regis, you know? <laughs> Damn, I should have named him Regis. Blood Baron, welcome in. Oh, that's awesome to hear. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed the guides. And I'm glad you're enjoying your time in Vardenfell as well. Um, oh, God, that guy is particularly leathery. Jesus Christ. He needs some moisturizer. Oh, that looks even more like Regis. Okay, well, we're going Regis. Great, Odin's Raven. Welcome in. Thank you for the sub. Hope you're having a well, have had a, a merry holiday season. There we go. What a way to come into 2024, everybody. Got some Morrowind streaming going. People are feeling good. Dark Elf also work. Dark Elf would, you know, if you don't know what to pick, a Dark Elf is typically the most safe choice. They're like the jack of all trades. They're good at everything, you know. Good at everything. All right, we are going to go custom class, although I will say the out-of-the-box 
uh, Morrowind Battle Mage class is actually not that bad. It it's pretty balanced. You know, it has uh, a couple selections there that I will change out. But if if I mean if you're just trying to click run and just get right into the game, the actual freaking Battle Mage, the normal class is not bad. Um, you know, just make sure you actually use the weapons that it has, and because you're not picking your own. But let's uh, battle Magico here. New here. Welcome in, Moostis. Welcome in. Uh, you like female orcs as mage? Yeah, they do have 40 int, which is pretty good. 45 willpower. Dang, really? There you go. Adrenaline rush on a battle mage. That could be intriguing. I like that. Or not adrenaline rush. Berserk. All right. I'm going to go magic. Um, because that's probably going to be the weaker part of the build. You know, melee combat, pretty easy to get online. Just take some good skill ups. Make sure you're using your major skill. You're probably pretty solid. For favorite attributes, I'm going to go strength and int. And for major skills, I'm, I'm feeling axe as, you know, a very battle mage thing. You either got to go axe or like blunt weapon. You know, some heavy armor dwarven berserker. That just also happens to cast some spells. That's kind of what we're going for. So I'll take heavy armor next. I will go destruction. And then conjuration as well. Very battle mage thing. I don't know why. Does anyone know why uh, conjuration in every video game ever? Like the battle mage is always the one who's conjuring people. Like is it because he's on the front line and needs support? I guess. You know? I don't really know. That seems like just a universal trait. Like, if you're a battle mage, you're, you're probably resurrecting ghosts or demons or, you know, you're not running in alone. Have you seen Satanine and Unreal 5, Blood Baron? Yes, I have. And that is some wild stuff. Okay. We're doing Skywind. We're doing all these amazing things. What, what if that's the next one? All right, we finished Skywood. Now we're just going to take Morrowind and we're going to throw it into 2025 and take it straight to Unreal 5. Ah, the feeling of being in a large battle. I like that. Yeah, that's good. Very true. Okay, so like I said, major skills, nice balance of combat, some heavy stuff. So axe, heavy armor, destruction, conjuration, alteration... For miners, uh, I'm going to go athletics. I like just having it as a backup. Uh, not really a backup, just something to level us and boost it in the background. I'm going to take blunt weapon as a fallback weapon skill. I will also... Or I'm torn, actually. Do I want to go blunt weapon or long blade and then take block and really be heavy armor? Although, you know, if, there's not... The, the axes that are one-handed in the game aren't the best. So I'm not going to do that, actually. I actually may switch Blunt Weapon. I'm going to take Blunt Weapon as the Major. I'm going to move Axe to the Minor. Because then I could grab Scourge. And that that fits very, very beautifully. Um, what's the last couple ones that I want here? I'll take Mysticism and Enchant. I think that looks like a pretty good one. I like having Telekinesis just as, you know... Some utility, so I don't have to worry about security or lock picking or anything like that. Because I already got the alteration to cover it. And, you know, I'm not going to do the full breakdown. We'll save that for the video. I think I'll take this here to start. So we got a magic specialization, strength int, a random smattering of major skills with some weapon skills, armor, and then a lot of magical schools to back us up. So let's freaking hop into it. Let's see how this goes. Hope everybody had a wonderful past week, getting geared up for uh, the wonderful year, 2024, the year of our Lord Vivek. Birth sign? I'm going to go Atronach, really maximize that magical pool that we're getting from being uh, Breton. And then I think the spell absorption fits well with the heavy armor 
And yeah, we'll, we'll we'll take the Atronach. And I I like on the hybrid classes taking Atronach because it really like fits that vibe of I'm not purely magical. I also have to you know kind of kind of work my way around getting my magicka back. You know, you're not the Merlin over here is not some he's not sitting in the back reading the scrolls. Merlin wants to get up in the front line and beat some people's faces in. So so he's not worried about getting the magicka back. He just wants to kill people. <laughs> All right, here we go. Live with Regis and Kelly from uh, from Satanine proper. Oh, I almost I almost missed my limeware platter drop there right at the start. That would have been bad. Do I need gold? Yeah, let's go ahead and take some gold. We will have to buy some armor. I'm going to dive right into uh I'm going to dive right into the Fighter's Guild here at the start. Because I want to do that mod. So we will need a little bit of uh, defense on our body of some sort. I don't know what the mod... I, you know, I don't I don't know what it's going to be. So we get, we're, we're going in blind. Take some Christmas bread. <laughs> ah, yes. We've been expecting you. Welcome in, Ziff and Kent. Long time no see, Kent. Hope you are doing well. I'll be at a very merry holiday couple days there. Your papers, please. Your papers, please. <gasps> Great Odin's Raven, Ziff. Again with the sub. Look at that. Thank you very much. That there, there we go. Now I'm now I'm having a merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, folks. Thanks for stopping in. Getting some Morrowin, getting some Aureal's trade house in your day. I mean, who could want any more than that? We got the mist on the swamp. We got some folks in chat. All right, we got a hit TV personality from the early 2000s. I mean, what more can you want? And we have elves. Uh, I apologize to any Nords that may be in chat. Let me get my fatigue back. And let's uh, throw all this random crap at this guy. I'm re-gifting. These, these were all Christmas gifts from Celis Gravius. That's what I'm going to tell myself. <laughs> Are re Reals, how did this guy get all this crap? Uh, you know, I didn't have any use for him. And then let's take uh, an iron hammer. Let's go ahead and get get really started here. I may wait to buy armor until I'm in Balmora. I don't want to. Well, actually, I'll take the steel helm. Cover up this beautiful face. Why not? Dun in Destiny Two dungeon run. Well, good luck. Try to have fun. I know that's hard in Destiny sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, good luck, have fun. Let's get the steel helmet on with an iron war hammer. Ancestral ghost on deck. I'm actually going to start doing my hotkeys here. Start nice and early. You notice I didn't take resto. Uh, because restorate what kind of battle mage wants right I'm gonna kill people I don't need to heal okay that's what they had potions for all right I don't need to heal myself god what kind of who do you think I am get out of here <laughs> all right so we got uh, actually I'm not gonna do shield I'm gonna just put dragon skin there and then yeah that should be fine okay that's good that's good enough to start Iron Hammer on one, Ancestral two, Firebite three, Dragon Skin on four. You need to remember that. Welcome in, Jess. Love the YouTube videos. Excited to catch you live for the last time in 20 years. Hey, wow. Welcome back. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. That That's why we do it. That's why we do it, folks. All right. 
I love hearing that people got back into Morrowind because uh, of the channel. That's one of my favorite things. Feel like I'm doing some good out in the world. You know, net and positive. Some things out there. Getting some people some enjoyment back in their lives. That's what it's all about. Hopefully we get to smash this freaking Dunmer's head in. Okay, there we go. That was, uh... Speaking about enjoyment, that was about to not be enjoyable to start. <laughs> the real problem, though, is going to be the mage guy. It's always the mage right down here. Everybody else in here, you know, never, never really a problem, but... That damn mage been reading too many books. All right, here he goes. That is Firebite. All right, ghost, come on. Oh, he one-shot the ghost. Oh, he's a Dunmer. The fire is not going to be helpful. Uh. I need some. I need some spell absorption. <laughs> I did get one. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on. He's down. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Good start. Good start. I always get worried with that Millar Barum. Can't trust him. Somebody starts throwing around some magic in the early game. <laughs> get a little puckered up. That's all I'm saying. Oh, here we got uh, our local shinobi. Let me dodge the stars. Do the uh, bow quest. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Get some... Uh... That is a great item. Absolutely. A bot already, man. We are, we are just... We're successful now. Look at that. <laughs> 17 minutes in and we already got bots. <laughs> it used to at least take me an hour. I mean, come on. All right, let me get my rechat, my uh, chat reset. There we go. You know, Daedric early. You can't, you just can't say no to it. Every time. Hey, whoa, there we go. There's a way to ring in the new year. Get a little moon sugar. Get the boys together and get some moon sugar flowing. It's never a bad time. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I am going to loot a little bit. We'll loot a little bit. I'm not going to take the moon sugar, but we are early game, so we will need some, uh, we will need some gold. And, uh, I did take strength as a, as a favorite attribute, so I can carry some good weight, thankfully. Lock level 10. Do I have the lockpick? Oh, I sold the lockpick. Oh. Well. <laughs> uh, nothing to see here. <laughs> I guess we're swimming for it. Hey, we did actually... I mean, there's an unhinging scroll right there, though, so... Actually... It all works out, believe it or not. It all works out in the end. I don't even need that lockpick. The next one's free. So I'm coming over here. I'm going to grab the ring. I love the ring over here at the beginning of the game. And I always do love doing this uh, this little dungeon right here first. It's so convenient, right there. You know, get start ma makes you feel good. Clearing this puppy out. One shot the rat. There is our ring. The thief ring. Fortify agility, speed, and personality. 
Never a bad time. Oh, come on, crosshair. You can do it. There we go. Maximum immersion, no crosshair. <laughs> Not unless I'm playing... I really almost never put on the crosshair unless I'm playing a ranged character. Although, I mean, if you're, if you're doing a ranged character, you're, you're going to want the crosshair. <laughs> like, go ahead, just do yourself the favor. That is... Uh... That is a bad time because I feel like, I, I don't know if anyone else feels this way, like the, the bow, the bow is like too far off to the right or something and it, it just doesn't give you, doesn't give you the very clear line of sight without, without a little assistance. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, look at that dungeon number one. That felt pretty good. We didn't miss too much with our uh, blunt weapon there as a major skill. I'm going to go to town, sell that weapon, and we'll start grabbing some spells. Off to Balmora. Home sweet home. Oh, look at it. You're so, you're so beautiful, Balmora. Ugh. Takes... Just... Just... Takes me right back. <laughs> Every time. What do we have and who wants to buy it? That is the question. There's... A, rever, re, the Revere the Traitor. Oh my... Uh, good Lord. <laughs> Everybody's favorite Khajiit. Well... Well, we got... I mean, I... It's not even a question anymore who we're selling to. <laughs> well, welcome in. I owe you a lot of thanks, Revere. You know, those, those Daedric artifacts have, have served me well for many years. Thanks for, thanks for popping in. Gosh, we're, we're in the presence of a celebrity, everyone. <laughs> and look, look at that. This freaking derelict... You need to explain yourself. Buying the moon sugar. <laughs> I won't. I won't tell anybody because you've done us so many favors with that, with that uh, demons or devil spear. But uh, you know, I'll look the other way. Uh, yep. Still has gold. I will keep the restore speed. I'll sell the spoiled potion. Grab some pillows. And a bunch of random things. Let me see. Is there anything I want here? It is easy to forget. There is a war axe. We want to have that in the, as a backup. Uh, none of those do anything for me since we are a blunt weapon main. All right, we'll just take it as that. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sure you will. I I, I don't expect that to that inventory to last very long. <laughs> I'm sure it'll have a pretty high turnover rate. All right, well, little steel armor. Sold some drugs to a cat. I, I, I'd say uh, I'd say the stream's off to a good start here. Okay, I'm listening. Now I will get a little bit more. What are we at? Eight fifty-five. So we do have some gold to play with. Grab the curious greaves. Uh, I am going to want to get boots of blinding speed since we are a heavy armor. I have an incredible voice for streaming. Well, thank you very much. I, uh, I, I, I made it myself. <laughs> Take the pauldrons. Um, let me see. What else do we want? I'm not going to buy the iron. And I'm not going to buy the boots because I'm going to get the blinding speed. Did I get two left? I oh, know I got two right. I got a right and a left. Okay, we're good. 
I'll get a gauntlet. I will say, you know, here at the beginning of the game, and really at any point, the steel armor is one of my favorite looking armor sets in the game. I don't know why. Maybe because it's just so classically knight, and it's really, like, bright, where I feel like a lot of other Morrowind armors are kind of kind of dark and muted. I love the steel armor. I once streamed for the prince. I did not get beheaded. That's right. They heard the soothing timber of the voice. Eh, nope. That one. That's a good one. We can, we can keep that one alive. All right. Went ahead, slept in my bed. It, it does. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm glad... Oh, you, you know, you got those keen cat eyes. Of course you can see it too, right? It does have it. I don't know what it is, but it has it. Make it quick out I, you know, I guess I should join. Actually, we're, we're already right here. Let me join. I'll do the first Fighter's Guild quest. Shouldn't be here. Um, while we're in town. And then I'll go to Caldera. I'll do the boots. And then we'll do the mod. Yep, cave rats. Uh huh. Cave rats, infestation, pillows. You know the drill. All right, you know the drill. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, excuse me, guard. I, he was trying to stop me from grabbing my coffee. He didn't. He didn't want this thing to go off the rails. Save every pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Fill, fills up every every container in the game with pillows. They've, they've got enough of them. That's that's for sure. All right, let's get the old fatigue back. The feeble steel armor bears no might against the impenetrable. Indestructible, unassailable ebony armor. Well, certainly, certainly not the set that Gaynor wears. That is true. The ebony armor does look pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. I, I will, I, I'll concede that. I'll concede that. All right, uh, let's hop up here and just start blasting. There we go. Uh, it's steel or gold. <laughs> I haven't decided yet if if Merlin is of uh, good or bad karma. So, <laughs> oh, there's your pillows, Revere. There you go. Chitin also looks great. Yeah, I, I like the Chitin helmet. I think that it's so alien and just odd. I do think that one looks awesome. Excuse me, madame. Come on, crush! Crush! Come on, she's watching, we can't... <laughs> no, he's getting stage fright. Come on. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, Oblivion had a rat quest, but did Skyrim... Uh I don't think one that involved pillows. I'm I'm sure uh I'm sure there was a you know I I remember well there's no rats in Skyrim. There's actually the answer is no. All right? There's only freaking skeevers. The rats methed out cousin, you know? <laughs> That's There so the answer is no, factually. She is so unimpressed. That wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I've had some. Uh, I've had some pretty bad builds. Uh, honestly, die to the cave rats before. <laughs> Go up in that top room, and sometimes you just never come out. You know, and that's how it goes. I think I did that with one of like my thief builds, because our <laughs> we had, like, they just stagger locked us. 
I think I went in with no fatigue and freaking died. <laughs> I was like, God, I feel like such an idiot. Save the pillows. Well, we'll find some other ones. Don't worry. Don't worry. Welcome in, Jumpy. A skeever... Uh, exactly. It does sound like what you'd call a methed out rat. Yes, what is it? The skeever lives in a trailer down by the river. All right. Nobody talks to old skeever down there. Right. All right. We have some egg poachers, ladies and gentlemen. We have some egg poachers. It may sound silly, but those quama eggs are among the few things worth exporting from this nasty little province. You're right, Adis. Let's forget about the soul gems, the ebony, the glass, the Daedric artifacts, the Dwemer artifact. Let's forget about all that. It's only the fucking eggs. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what? Adis. What, uh, your fire eye. You should be blind eye. You know, don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Shulk it up. There you go. Welcome back, a glazed. Good to see you in chat. One or two sets of Daedric Greaves. One you can steal from the Drin Plantation. That sounds right. I know there's not many. I believe those are... I believe that's the rarest part. Because with the, you know, with the helm, at least you got the different variants. Shields you can get off the... Uh, Golden Saints. I am going to come up here. Before I forget, I'm going to buy a Magical Potion. An exclusive one. And then we will join the Mages Guild. We'll go to Caldera. Going to do the boots. And then we'll do then we'll do the mine. We'll do the Shulk Egg Mine. Because we have the mod fired up and ready to go. All right, we got one exclusive, so that is our that is our one get out of jail free card that we'll keep on us. I'll grab the standards and whatnot from the Mage's Guild as well. Always good to have an exclusive on, you know. You know you're just gonna you're gonna run right back up to the top in the middle of a tough fight. Everything's gonna be okay. Start start feeling the magicka flowing back to your fingertips. She didn't seem very happy with us. Um, CV Divine. And Cure Common Disease is good too. Let me see how much money I have left. 380 gold. That may be able to make us an open spell. I think it should. A 100 point open. for That should be able to do it. But we have to buy the spell too. One fifty-eight. Let's see if we can get it lower. Let me grab a rest. Looking for something in particular. One fifty. I sa I saved eight gold. <laughs> that's that's gonna be the eight gold. I don't I don't think I'll be able to make it. It's probably gonna be probably gonna be too expensive. But open sesame. And touch one hundred for one second. Oh, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Four hundred. <laughs> 428. Yeah. That's not happening yet. Okay, we need to remember to come back to that one. Let's go ahead and go to Caldera. Actually, I'll grab a rest here because we do have some health missing. Yes. Yes. And now for everybody's favorite boots, I will steal the alchemical supplies up here as well. Those sell pretty nice. We'll be good just to have on us with our mage ways. All 
right, now let's go see everybody's favorite smuggler. Good day. Let's do good, good, good day. Hey, 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 good... <laughs> Buddy, I know, I know you're excited to see Merlin, but you, got, you gotta let me through, man. Come on. All right, we'll just wait. He'll, he'll sort himself out. Okay, there we go. Good day, Kodankus. Good day. Welcome in. All right, now the incredibly exciting run to go grab the boots. Off into the hinterlands we go. A true adventure. A true adventure. Got the Praise the Sun mug rocking, channeling some Dark Souls energy. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that raises the the skill that I have today. The boots have got to go fast. Yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised you don't sell any Revere. You know that seems right up your alley, right? Been a while since I've watched some Marwin. Hey, well, there is no time like the present. That's what I always say. Well, we got our naked buddy over here. Do we want? Do we want to help him out? We do have axe as a, you know, as a backup skill. You know what? Let's help him out. Why not? The festering witch. I was on my way to Caldera when I met her. She was a stranger here, like myself, and our conversations lightened the burden of travel. That's how they get you, buddy. That's how they get every time. Those 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 festering witches every time. She was friendly and you know, say uh we set up camp together, but that night she revealed the witch inside and cast a spell on me. Stole everything, even my worn out clothes, but most importantly, she took my prized axe cloud cleaver. You don't have to lie to me, friend. We all we all know you're naked because you're a Nord. Okay? You don't have to lie and pretend that, you know. This this happened by accident. All right, we get it. It's your thing. Trying to he's trying to be coy. Okay. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hey, Cloud Cleaver. Fun fact was used to slay the terror of Rothgar's quagmire in case in case you didn't know <laughs> the terror turned out to be a newborn nixhound catching the neighbor's marshmallow <laughs> but my father found him and slew him nevertheless in his grand fashion of eyes ever bore witness to i cannot wait to have it back in my hand well doesn't that just doesn't that just sound beautiful What is my go-to class when playing Morrowind? My go-to class, uh, that is, that's a tough one. I really like uh, hybrid spellcasters, probably like a spell sword, because, you know, spellcasting is just so fun in Morrowind. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much for the sub-greening. Welcome in. Um, yeah, probably like a, a hybrid or, or a pure mage. I mean, yeah, probably like a hybrid spellcaster. Giggity. Whoa. He's thinking about festering witches. Can't let him do that. Athletics to 16. I think we're going the wrong way, actually. It's been a second since I fought the festering witch. There she is, actually. Okay, never mind. I, j I just had to believe in myself. That's all. I willed this into existence. That's what happened. All right, we'll grab a save. Hello there, stranger. I see you've already met my good friend, Lormar. Why does she speak like a narrator? I don't know. That's it, but this is uh, the omniscient narrator's voice, so she's going to get it, too. My name is Socia Car Caristiana, the healer. How can I be of assistance? Well, you can be of assistance by dying. That's what we're going to do. 
Uh, let me summon my ghost. Ghost failed. Good work. <laughs> failed again. Okay. Hey, we're not in combat, so we can rest, actually. Why is the striking part of the iron hammer wood? Don't br don't you bring logic into this, Revere? Okay. <laughs> we do not question the things that we cannot change. All right. Get her. Get her, men. Oh, I think I hit Lormar. <laughs> don't let her heal. Don't let her heal. Come on. One more. Okay, there we go. Whew, festering witch down. What was she hitting? Oh, she was. <laughs> I had this pre this is pretty good. I never noticed this. She was hitting the naked guy. She was hitting the naked guy with the steel staff of chastening. <laughs> Nothing like a little chastity to, you know, just, just brighten up an old Nord's day. <laughs> Todd does work in mysterious ways. All right, do we help him? Uh, I don't know. What do we think? Are we keeping Cloud Cleaver? Or do we give it back? What do we think? I don't, I'm I'm on the fence because we we have Axe as a minor skill. Although, you know, Merlin, it, it could go either way. We have not decided whether he will be good or bad yet. Greening says keep. And we may just have to keep we may just have to keep it, you know. Axe is a minor skill. It's a pretty good early game axe. Alright, well, you know. Revere says keep. Alright, that's two votes for keep. We'll keep it. You will die where you stand. You will die where you stand. Help help me find this witch. Kills everybody. <laughs> How's our Magicka looking? 57 out of 210. We have a crazy mana pool, but we are Atronocked out, so we will have to, uh... We will have to do some, uh, potioning over here. Oh, don't start the stagger lock. He's, he's trying to. Come on. Fla flashbacks to Jerain Thelis's house, <laughs> where we're missing every hit. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Uh, I don't want to pop a potion just yet. Get up! Get up! Get up! Oh, oh, the hand-to-hand -hand lock. Come on! Come on! He's a mighty Nord. Okay, one more, one more. Uh, he's commendable. He has brought us to about half health. Oh, you gotta get the cast off, Merlin. Come on, buddy. No, oh my god. I don't think I grabbed I don't think I grabbed any fatigue potions. Okay, there we go. Thank God. Jesus. We got we got freaking Mike Tyson over here from Lorimar Winesot. Okay, alright. Well, we survived. And we got an axe out of it, so we'll take that. <laughs> there, there you go, Green. Yeah, Greening's got it down. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. That's what I'm saying. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, nah, I said, welcome back, Serenia. <laughs> I was like, was it the freaking scrib? I was like, they don't automatically attack you. <laughs> That's good. 
All right, you got me. There you go. There's one for the new year. <laughs> I knew we spawned and had the script, but I'm like, they don't, they don't attack automatically. What is going on? Welcome in. I hope you had a merry everything. Hey, that guy attacks me automatically, though. This, this little worm. That's, that's, that's some real combat music right there. There we go. The nice little quarma forager. There he is, all, all nestled up, all curled up. All right, well, we, we went a little off course there, but I think this is still the road. Yeah, there we go. There she is. You worked in retail. So I take it you did not have a merry everything. <laughs> Probably had a, a very chaotic, hectic, crazy everything. Well, I, you know, best of wishes for the new year. Here, here. What's a girl got to do to get some attention around here? Well, it's easy. You wear those freaking boots. That's how you get the attention. How's it going, Pimini? Let's make a deal. Easy, easy way to get attention, all right? You wear, you wear boots that turn you into Usain Bolt. That'd get you attention in the real world, too. Fun fact, everybody. <laughs> the, st the stabby, stabby. Working on your short blade build. Uh... <laughs> you know what you're doing? You're leveling up your patience stat. That's what you're doing. Really, you're ju you're just growing stronger by the day. You know, that's what I that's what I'm hearing. All right, come on, Pimmy. Off to Narmak. The land of swamp and more swamp. There's not a lot going on in Narmak. Look at that. What a what a beautiful morning. Come on, this the sun is shining. The guar are roaming. What what more could you ask for? Look at that. What a happy doofus. He's got a he's got the smile on his face. He's feeling good. Not a thought behind those eyes. Not a thought. <laughs> Come on, Pimini. <laughs> I am at 15 Magicka, so I am going to need to uh, restore here. I, I can do the... Uh, actually, I, I, I am conjuring, so... Or no, that's going to make Pimini attack me, actually, if I, if I summon the ghost. But I can burn a potion and then summon the ghost and get the rest of my Magicka back just by getting it to attack me. That would be nice. You know, now that you're... I, I forget who, who mentioned it earlier, but, the, you know, it is wood. It's a big block of wood that's just held together with iron. That, why is it the iron warhammer? <laughs> it should be the wooden warhammer. The, the, wooden, the wooden beaten stick. That is a bit confounding. Oh well. I do like how Pimini is so fast. We're running and she is just walking behind us. <laughs> like, she really needed the escort. I mean, she could have just sprinted there. You know. But. I, I, at least she's willing to give up some payment. We'll take that. Oh, devil. Quama Forager. And swing! Boom! Very nice. Hey, that was a, that was a pretty good start right there. I'm, I'm, <laughs> come on. Level one, one-shot kill. I'm... It's just a forager, but it still happened. That's all I'm saying. At 
We have entered the beautiful lands of the swamp. I really hope they do bring some, uh, I would say, really vegeta- I, I don't know, like, uh, it's an area like this that's, you know, really, really lush and green, um, into Elder Scrolls Six, Because, you know, Skyrim had some really cool locales, but the only, like, exotic thing it had going for it was, like, a, the mountains. Whereas, I feel like a swamp, you know, very visually, there's a lot going on. You got all the moss and the lichen and the all the weird trees and stuff. So I do hope they bring that kind of, or, or just let us look at Black Marsh. You know, let me let me see what Black Marsh looks like. That'd be pretty pretty insane. Your journal has been updated. All right. Boots of Blinding Speed acquired. Let's kill this mud crab. Good old experienced crab right here. And I think, uh, what do we do here? Maybe it's Alm Seavey out? Let me double check where that boat goes. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've hung around in Narmok. But we mainly just want to get back to Balmora. Grab our blinding speed spell to uh, put it on. Although we do have the... Do have the Atronach. Yeah, we do have spell resistance, right? From being a... Yeah, we do have the 50% resistance innately from being a good old Breton. Oh, Colin Laoud. That's right. That's right. Well, we don't want to go to Solstheim. We'll just keep traveling around. I love how I'm getting farther from... <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to burn all my... I'm not going to burn all my stuff. Let me, uh, let me just dump CB out here. I'd just be burning through all my gold. And Aldroon, I've heard is fantastic this time of year. The nice natural wonders of a horrific sandstorm just caking your eyes and clothes. <laughs> wonderful place. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful place. Since we do have the Resist Magicka just from being the Breton, I actually can't just throw it on. It's a little dark, but not bad at all. How are we doing on gold? 128. Well, that's probably not going to be enough. That's probably not going to be enough to get our spell. We have stuff we can sell. We do. Let me talk to Revere's girlfriend over here. Uh, sell some of this random stuff. I'm gonna keep Cure Blight, keep Cure Common Disease. Uh, take all that. So that's 606, so that should get us there. Yes. Don't want to train. Now, which one of you sells it? A tourist. A tourist. Resist Magicka. Let's go ahead and make our boots of blinding. Ooh, 
We only have a 34% spell chance. That's not great. All right, well, we'll see how it goes. Let me grab a save. Let me see if I can uh, regen off my, well, no, I'm gonna have to pop a potion anyway. I do have 375, so I can get another exclusive after this. Let's just see see how far the standard gets us along. Don't want to burn all the top shelf stuff. I don't have to, so that takes us to 65. I have a 42% chance when fully rested, which is not the best. You have so I get three tries. There we go. Okay, now we are online. Now we're talking. Boots of blinding speed acquired. Spell acquired. Let's uh let's grab the open spell if we still have the cash for it. 375. We may. One hundred on touch. It is 430. Dang it. Okay, not quite there. Uh, I think I can sell one of these alchemy pieces. Uh, she has way too little gold. Okay, ah, screw it. We'll, we'll just go ahead and leave with only our normal open. That's 50 points. I mean, that should get us somewhere decent. Since we're just doing the mod, I don't think it is a high-level dungeon. Ooh, that maxed us out. All the hammers. I cannot place items in this container. Oh, well. Congratulations. You uh, now live on the ground. <laughs> They'll be there. They'll be there when we need them. It's fine. All right. Uh, let me... Leave some stuff here. I'll leave the steel. Because we're just going to go adventuring, so. Put that there. Just some random stuff. We won't need these alchemical apparatuses where we're going. And I do want to make sure that we do have some carry weight to actually take things with us. We are going to go Al Natural. Who needs clothes when you have armor? That's what I say. Grab another save. And then let's check our journal. This is all about the the festering witch that we rid this world of. Let me find... Where is that fighter skilled quest? Okay. Sevilla Othin and Danil Vallas, former egg miners and local troublemakers, are poaching eggs from the Shulk Egg Mine. Report back to Adis when they're dead. Okay. So now we enter the mod, which is the Shulk... Egg mine remastered. So we will see what this looks like. And now that we are Sonic the Hedgehog and down there, should be pretty good. Pretty straightforward. I did look at the screenshots, it looked pretty wild. And like I mentioned, I love it when modders do this when they, you know, like revamp. Some of these more run-of-the-mill kind of areas that you go to. On pretty much every playthrough. So here we go. Shulk Egg Mine. Let's see if the mod installed right. See if it looks any different. Okay, uh, pretty straightforward so far. And that is different. Okay, here we go. Kwama Forager. Stuck on the scrib. 
Come on. There we go. Okay, good start. Oh, hello. God, what is that? Is that how the Kwama get around? Do they crawl through the... Like, the pipes? That's kind of insane. Hardest thing to do. Avoid hitting the... I know. I know. I have had the chat get get very upset with me. <laughs> for, for, for murdering scripts for experience. I have, I have reformed. I used to, I used to uh, do some unspeakable things to the scripts. <laughs> But, okay, a shulk egg mine. I am reformed. I no longer... I am a friend of the scripts now. I am a friend. Ooh, okay, another comma forager. Come on. Come on, strike true. You can do it. Maybe. <laughs> okay, there we go. Grab it. Oh! Oh, you're not a Kwama forager! Oh, we're being attacked. Let's get some conjuration going. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna use Firebite, because they're all done, Mer. So it won't really do anything. Come on now, come on. Ugh. Blunt weapon to 31. There we go. Well, gold is now dealt with. We'll hold on to that. We'll see what uh, Shulk Egg Mine loot turns out to be. Revere, you, you steal and murder every pl J Greeny! Re Revere is a... He, Revere is an upstanding citizen of Balmora. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Damn. Well, uh... I cannot say I do the same, but power to you. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. Kwama Forager's down. Oh, a Kwama Husk. Oh, that's unsettling. This place is much bigger now. Kwama Chitin. Ooh. Cocoons. Oh, they give you Scrib Jelly. And Cuddle. Oh, that's kind of cool. Whoa, hey, whoa, look at that! <laughs> what? <laughs> the guy just, it, the little forager just crawled out of the hole. Do it again! <laughs> what? Now, now this is what, this is why Morrow and Modding exists, people. I don't know. <laughs> Come back! Oh, he went away. That, that's what it's all about. That, that was uh, that was the best part of the stream. I don't think I can top that. I I can't. Uh, what am I What am I gonna say and or do to beat that? Okay. Well, that was like lightning striking. Apparently, apparently, it only happens once. So, excuse me, Scrib. Don't make me do it. They, there's viewers in here today. Don't make me do it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Zeph is a big fan of the Kwama Foragers, apparently. Alright. Good to, good to know. I don't know what that says, but good to know. <laughs> oh. Come on. Come on. There we go. There are two kinds of mods. Immersive Kwama Mines in big booby butt mods. That's that's pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah. 
Not so much in Morrowind, though. Like, definitely in Skyrim. Skyrim is the worst. Uh, you open... Oh, my God. You open the Skyrim Nexus page. Like, every, every single one on the front page. It's, it's always not safe work. Like, every single time. It's like, dude, what what is what is up with Sky the Skyrim mod, mod scene is uh has always been very special. It's always been very special. Level and class. We are level one battle mage. Just started off, and now we are doing the Shulk Eggmine Remastered mod. And I am stuck on a Kwama worker. Let's see if a uh, little rest can fix that. Okay, maybe another one. Well, no one. Uh, we're just we're just gonna we're just we're, no one saw anything. <laughs> God, I don't console commands. I don't do that. Oh, we ended up in the queen's lair. Oh, whoa, look at this. That's pretty gnarly. Oh, oh, he, he's not happy to see us. Well, let's get our, let's get our buddy out. One shot. Good start. Oh, not enough magicka. Come on. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Dang, I was wondering what that sound was. Come on, hit him. There we go. Wow, this is pretty dope. I mean, this is this is way more... Look at that. Damn, this is way more intricate than the freaking normal mine. Holy crap. I'll take the cuddle, why not? And there's another direction, too. Hold on. Well, we gotta go check out the queen. Oh, jeez. There's a whole bunch more enemies, too. Get him, ghost. Attack. Oh, he disappeared. <laughs> he was scared of the Kwamas. Even in death, the flesh golem that are the Kwamas are too frightening. Oh, God. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We need to heal. Let's, uh, let's not die this early. It's too early. There we go. Okay. Whew. The Hive Guardian. You know what? I'm going to drink a Magicka Potion, too. We're at three Magicka. play it whoa yeah this is this is an upgrade dang well there it is ladies and gentlemen the queen it's got this crazy like web thing going on can you crawl can you climb on this oh no you can't oh well jeez Got the Fargoth on the roll. <laughs> is that poison down there? Hold on, I, I need to know. All right, quick save. Is this poison? It is, damn it. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> well, the more you know. <laughs> I mean, it was so green and inviting, I had, I had to find out. Are you one of the freaking poachers? Hold on. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, God. I am very stuck. Oh, come on. I gotta kill the forager so I can get out of this corner. S slay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. We're just aggroing more people. 
Oh, this is this is going downhill. <laughs> I should have stayed in the corner. <laughs> no. And he's a Dunmer, so it does no damage. Oh god. Uh, d d d use the use the boots. Run, <laughs> run, run. Ghost. Okay, ghost with the most. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, the, the ghost the ghost's putting in work over there. I'm gonna have to drink a fatigue potion. Come on now. You're you're doing great, ghost. You're doing great. You're not doing great anymore, you died. Oh my god, why are there so many enemies? Oops, staggered. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Believe it or not, I am not struggling due to a cloud of cliff racers for the first time in Morrowind history. It's a cloud of everything else. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm getting low. We're whittling them down, though. Did we do it? Did we do it? Is that it? What the hell is that? That's the egg miner's hook. Is, the, is, the, is that it? Is it? Are we done? <sighs> there are still enemies nearby. So no rest for the wicked. Oh no, our... Okay, buddy over there. Is, he's still here. Come on, one more. Just don't... Just don't max damage. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. That got, uh... That got way more exciting than the normal Shulk egg mine. Jesus. And what is this? The egg miner's mask. Let's look at what this is. This looks pretty freaking hardcore. Oh yeah. Now you're talking. I mean, it doesn't fit our strategy at all, but that looks great. Kind of reminds me of the chitin, uh, chitin helmet with the, like, the glasses-y looking thing. Okay, well, so far, I am I'm pretty impressed with this mod. Whoa! Exposed him. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's find somewhere to rest. Because we definitely need it after that. There we go. Oh, there must be enemy. There must be more people over here. Where are you, Dregs? Danger! Yeah, I, th I think that, uh, I think that about lays it out. Danger. There's definitely someone over there. Oh, you know what we didn't grab? We didn't grab levitation. Let me save. Hold on. Is that a... Uh... Something aggro us down there? Hold on. Come on! Come on! <laughs> It said danger. What did you expect me to think? <laughs> oh my god. Good good work. Hey, there are enemies down there. It, it's, it's, it was within the realm of possibility. Um, jeez, I don't have I don't have levitation though. I'm going to go <laughs> I'm going to go down there and just die. Let me let me double check. No, I I don't. Okay. Well, Oh, shit. Well, we're down here anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, we're interventioning out, apparently. Crap. <laughs> my, uh, my curiosity got the better of me. Okay, well... Are we, are we rewarded with anything? 
Oh! He did it again! Oh! Clip. <laughs> that That's the best part of the mod. I mean, I don't need to see anything else. Broken Miner's Corpse. Hold on now. Okay, we do have a Levitate out at least. Thank you, Mod Designer. And a Climbing Pick. I've never seen that. That's cool. <laughs> a Common Ring. So we came... <laughs> we came all the way down here. We almost died. And the only thing we get out of it... Is a potion to get back up. Okay, that works. I'll take that. Let me just double check. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Okay, well... Let's pop the rising. It's a... <laughs> it is about the adventure. You're right. It was worth it. You know, we can... Uh, now we can get a nice... Bird's eye view. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Is there a hidden passage up here? Hey, look at that. We totally missed this tunnel. Where does, where does this go? Hold on. Whoa, skeleton. What? Oh, and there's another one in the wall. Hold on a second. All right, we got to heal. All right, yeah, well, we found some adventure, that's for sure. Okay, is that guy, is he a spawn too? Or is he dead? I think he... Oh, more, more of them. Okay, back up, back up. <laughs> okay, this is actually, this is pretty, this is pretty killer. Die, heathen. You lack calcium. And brains. The two things ev everybody needs. I don't know. <laughs> In that order, too. There we go. We have, we have poisoned him with, with osteomyelitis. <laughs> this, this is, little did he know, this is the, the hammer of rickets. Oh, an ebony, an ebony club? Well, that works beautifully and totally randomly with our blunt build. Look at that. Dang. I mean, it does have actually worth stats in the Iron Hammer, but wow. I'm way over encumbered now, though. It's all that raw ebony. Well, it pains me to do it. I'm going to have to drop some stuff. Drop the silver dagger. We're never going to use that. But hey, not a bad find. Shulk Eggmine remastered. Coming in with the with the serious loot. 5,000 gold ebony club. Here at the start. Look at that thing. Nice. There, That is true. That is true. Yeah, our, our iron warhammer would not... We, we would have to rely on the magic, which on the Atronach, not always, not always the best idea. Okay, well, I can, I can say, I mean, this is a success. This is, this is a rousing success already. Good God. <laughs> Ebony, well, could be. All right, um, let me see. Where do we go now? I mean, this is all uncharted territory. Let me hop down here. Let me go down here. And there's a whole nother side to the mine. Did we, did we kill all the egg miners? So we got Sevilla Othen and Valas. So we got the two. For some reason, I was thinking there was three. I think I'm thinking of the 
the ebony mine quest where you gotta kill the... Or no, that's five people. That's not even three. I don't know what I'm thinking of, but this should be them, so our quest should be good. Let me switch to local. Let's make sure we saw everything. Yeah, we hit that. Uh, I guess we gotta go this way and then head back out. Oh, what is, what's this way? Hold on, there's more. Uh, there's another, there's another passage. This place is huge! The mining camp? Hold on, let's check what's down this way. It worked out last time when we went down the random tunnel. Let's see what's, what's over here. A, uh, a worker. With... Is that a soul gym? What's over there? Am I going to have to kill the worker to get through it? I think I am. Sorry, buddy. We got to know. We, <laughs> we're not leaving the loot. Oh, apparently we are leaving the loot because we can't land a hit. <laughs> okay, there we go. What are you? Obsidian. Okay. Geez, we did so much work for Cloud Cleaver, and now I feel like I just need to drop it. <laughs> How much do you weigh? Yeah, it's 30 pounds. Oh, man. I don't want to leave it. Uh, we'll drop some of the Dark Brotherhood. We can always get more. Obsidian. Okay. A nice find that I am not familiar with. Now we go to the mining camp. Well, this is a much more intriguing dungeon than it used to be. I mean, this used to just be like a run in, run out. And now there's actually like exploration and stuff to do. What do we have here? Another danger. Well, that worked out so well last time. We gotta... Gotta see what's going on in here. A uh, pit of lava. Some more just quama husks. Where are your secrets, danger room? I don't see like a platform or anything to levitate up to. Okay, maybe it's uh, maybe it's just. Maybe it's actually maybe it's actually just a danger warning like the other one. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair play. Fair play. Shulk egg mine. Fair play. Let's see what you have to say. Uh, nothing new. Okay, so no, no like quest lead-ins or anything. Let's uh, peek around here. What's what's that? Oh, that's a pickaxe. It's just sticking out of the wall. It's like, oh my god, it's it's growing legs. <laughs> the egg mine is alive. Okay, there's a lock. Well, we know how that has to go. One does not simply ignore a locked door. Come on now. There we go. No, oh, your crime has been purported. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Nah. Yeah, I just pay the five gold. That's fine. Okay. All right, we got a business ledger. What else? We have anything interesting? I've always... <laughs> I love that in Morrow, and They're like, you know, you, you trespass, and then they come after you. But once you're... It's only for opening the door. It's not actually for going where you're not supposed to be. Like, oh, you know, hey, you can go anywhere you want. Just if you open an unlocked door or an unlocked door, you're done. All right. Under the jail. Straight to jail. But you're actually like in the vault walking around. And ah, you know, he's fine. 18 large Kwama eggs have been added to your inv Good God. I don't want 18 Kwama eggs. There we go. 
Well, I don't think there's actually anything in here. Will I do some terminal rebuilt? I will. Absolutely. I was uh, I was thinking about doing that today. But then I didn't know. Because when I do terminal be rebuilt, I'm going to want to be like, have a, you know, a long string of streams to actually like play through it. Um, and I didn't know how much, you know, availability I would have over the next coming week. But. I definitely will. Absolutely. I've been meaning to for some time. But when I do it, like, I definitely want to, you know, give it a good, give it a good long playthrough. have a bunch of time to really work through it. Defective scroll of Almsivi. What? It has both? Almsivi and Divine. Okay, that's kind of intriguing. I'm excited. I saw the, the, you know, I was watching, uh, I actually, I mean, I knew about the mod beforehand, but I got reminded of it from watching Morrowind Modding Showcase, good old Dark Elf guy over there, posting about the world of Morrowcraft. I, I'm excited to see that, the, the ex-WoW player in me, that it was a, you know, a wrath baby. I, I, can, I am so excited to play through that, the wrath of the Lich King in Morrowind. That's going to be insane. Look at this freaking mining layout. Like this is the the this mod is great. Like they thought of everything. You know, we got the mining thing. They got the they're playing darts over here. I mean, this is amazing. Good old Dark Elf guy, absolute legend. Dark Elf guy, pillar of the community. I owe so many of my Morrowind hours to watching Morrowind Modding Showcase and being like, that's cool as hell, let me do that right now. <laughs> Not tempted to play, Sod. Uh, remind me, is, is that a WoW expansion? I'm losing track of the freaking uh, name, Sod. You'll have to bear you bear with me. Season of discovery. Eh. I've got so many things on my plate right now. It, it's going to take a lot to get me back into WoW. Right? It's going to take a lot. The thing. The reason I quit playing WoW is because I ended up noticing that I was just playing it like Animal Crossing. <laughs> or like I would I would just load on to get a new transmog, you know, like collect my new piece of furniture and then get off. And I was like, all right, if I'm just playing this to, to collect a thon and like, you know, get that freaking dopamine hit, like I should probably not be playing this anymore. So, I don't know. Maybe one day. If, if they do... Uh, I don't know. I, uh, if one of the new expansions is like really awesome, I'll, I'll I'll probably hop back on to give it a run through. But a lot of like, I mean, I used to be in a guild and everything, and that that fell apart, and a lot of the people that I used to know quit playing. So that's kind of that kind of my ship on WoW has sailed at the moment. Although I do on stream, uh, I do want to do some Elder Scrolls online like play through the Morrowind expansion on stream. That is something I do want to do. If folks are interested. Did I do everything here? I think I did. Because I'd I'd like to draw the parallels between uh, ESO Morrowind and actual Morrowind. I have played off stream a little bit, but have not actually uh, ever brought it to the forefront. You're an Asmund's Guild. Nice. Have you given him any loot yet? <laughs> he's, uh, he's always he's always hankering for that that loot. I love Asmund. He's hysterical. All right. I think that's the whole mod, ladies and gentlemen. Shulk Eggmine. 
Good old Shulk Eggmine Remastered. Let me get you the actual name. I think it's it's actually Superior Shulk Eggmine. If anyone wants to freaking play with it themselves, I will actually throw the link in the chat. So you can head there, get yourself some Shulk Eggmine Remastered going. Superior Shulk Egg Mine for the next time you do the Fighters Guild. I like it a lot. I mean, I'm probably going to leave this one on my game. It just takes like a pretty normal, boring quest and actually makes it something worth, you know, kind of, kind of running through and discovering. That's pretty cool. You power, <laughs> you were power leveling Asmin. That's awesome. All right, let me get my uh, chat back up. My chat is frozen, so let me just reload it here. All right, there we go. All right, we're back. We're live. And now we can go back to Balmora and we can buy some more spells. Because uh, that is that is what battle mages do. All right, we get spells and then we beat stuff over the head with a big old massive hammer. How heavy is that club? I may actually sell it. Yeah, it has a 24 weight. And our Warhammer has a 32. So we are massively, uh, massively encumbered. Need to level up some strength. How are we looking on levels? Uh, so we have an X5 on strength. And not a whole lot else going on. So we should uh, maybe do some training with this money that we got. Train up some of our mage implements. Happy very late Christmas. Not too late, you know, two days off. Thank you very much. And a same to you. Merry everything. I appreciate the well wishes. I'm going to run to Caldera and we're going to do some creeperin' and then we're going to do some selling. Or I'm sorry, some buying. <laughs> well, we got to do the selling before we do the buying, but you know what I mean. We do want to uh, grab some bound spells. That'll match nicely with the heavy armor aesthetic. Although, actually, now that I think about it, Aren't Conjured Armors light? Even though they're Daedric? I'd have to double check myself on that. That sounds right. Speak quickly, Speak quickly Outlander. Rawr. You know, we need eggnog in the game. We need to start selling the creeper some eggnog. He'd be very appreciative. That'd get him in the holiday spirit pretty quickly. <laughs> Alright, we are we are loaded with gold. That ebony club in the Shulk Egg Mine was a big find. Absolutely massive find. And then Cloud Cleaver over here at weight 30 is just painful but axe is the minor skill our blunt is only 32 so I don't really want to switch skills yet both are so low I mean even though even though the cloud cleaver is obviously better let's pop over here let's grab the classic couple uh, amulet of recall opening and then the ring of aversion I always like Veloth's robe as a nice early game heal I tend to pick it up not a lot of people do I must be going. but my thing I love uh, I love doing just getting a billion like small tiny little healing items that you can just spam the crap out of early game and it just makes things so much easier when you don't have to constantly rely on your uh whatchamacallit um casting ability 
I'm going to buy a couple summoning spells here. We have the money to do the... I'm going to grab the door jam as well. That one's fun to have. Lock is actually pretty strong because you can just close a door behind you and lock, uh, lock somebody out. Bound Mace is great with our Conjuration build. How much gold do we have? We have 8,000. So we need to be a higher rank, but I love buying... I love buying the Golden Saint Scrolls from that guy. Grab the invisibility. When are you going to do the all stats zero run? You know, we should... Oh, I should do that soon. I should have more time to start streaming here coming into the new year. I'm listening. My time tends to ebb and flow with uh, availability, so... It's looking like looking like we should have more streams coming up soon, though. Let's go to Balmora. All stats zero, but every kill gives a five percent chance to increase a random skill by one. That sounds. That actually sounds pretty fun because it, it gives you a reason. I mean, ooh, that'd be interesting because that would encourage combat. And, and when you're on zero skills, and you're like trying to know, ooh, I like that. I wish that was a mod. That sounds cool. Once you work out combat, yes. But at the beginning, you know, it would give you like a reason to fight instead of just trying to train. Uh, and, you know, train everything. I kind of like that. That's fun. All right, what do we have our willpower at? We're at three. I'm going to try and get it to five. Still at three. I could just count, but I don't want to. <laughs> there we go. Uh, when you do zero stats, got to limit HP and Magicka. I feel like you have to. I feel like they should both be one. You know, just put them both on one until you, like, level up. So we just got an X5 strength, willpower, and then a two on endurance, which is fine. I mean, I'm not going to... We're just we're just having fun. We're play testing. I'm not going to min-max too hard. We're just... Having a good time. A nice, beautiful post Christmas uh, frolic through Vardenfell. Let me see if there's anything I should leave at my base camp down here. God, we worked so much for Cloud Cleaver, and I really just don't want to hold it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's 30 pounds oh i'll keep the egg miners mask i thought that was a cool uh, i thought that was a cool item i can amulet of opening this uh thing now I actually like put things in the chest all right well i'm gonna i'll hold on to it for now Yes. No, I agree with that. The speed the speed is the only thing that could probably not actually be zero. <laughs> because that would be terrible to watch. That would not be fun. You are very, very correct there. Um, I'm going to grab some spells. Mark and Recall, really. I mean, we have the Amulet of Recall, but got to get the Mark. Mark Acquired. Um, CV acquired. Hey, that's awesome to hear, Tom. Tom, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. That's why we do it. As long as people are enjoying them, I'll keep making them. 
until you finish the tutorial when do you consider the tutorial what is is that is that the first dungeon is that getting off the boat what do what do you consider the tutorial okay well we did our mine we did our whatchamacallit um our, our immediate setup for the build should we maybe just keep running the fighters guild or go find a uh, random dungeon to dive i guess we can turn in our quest let's uh let's close this book you got both of them here's your payment 100 septums awesome as soon as you can be arrested okay so once you get out that's fair all right, we have a contract from the mining company to kill some agents. So we'll do this one. This one's a classic. Uh, this was the one that I was mixing up our Shulk Egg Mine quest with, actually, earlier. I do want to kind of get rid of this iron hammer. It's not really exciting me anymore. Let me see if there's anything else around here. I don't think there is immediately. I guess we could cheese... Or no, actually, I need to go make that. Before I forget, I'm going to make the 100... The 100 lock spell. Uh, and then we could go cheese scourge. From good old Mr. Fear. Oh, I already own it. I need to talk to you. Third time's the charm on trying to get this. <laughs> Alright, there we go. 100 point unlock spell. Hop, skip, jump, up. Um, and you know what? Let's, uh... Yeah, let's actually just go to Caldera. I should have, uh... I should have stayed down there, but my... Brain decided to go non-linear. Loop back around this. Outland. Ooh, complete the armor and weapon set until you move on to the next set. That's kind of intriguing. I like that. I've wanted to do... Uh, I, one thing I've wanted to do is... Uh, where you have to use every weapon you find... And like trying to do a build like that. I think that would be kind of fun. We are going to adventure down south to Caldera. Ooh, can't even loot them. You can't even keep them? You can't keep them on deck? Ooh, that'd be, uh, that'd actually, that'd be pretty brutal. That'd be very, very brutal. <laughs> no stockpiling, but it's an RPG. <laughs> All right, there we go. One shot. Good old firebite. You know, firebite goes a very, very long way. I have to, I have to say. For an early game spell. Ooh, that'd be intriguing. That'd be intriguing with the way, especially armor armor rating works. So would it be like a normal run, like run the main quest like that, or uh, or just to see how f how long it takes to max out? on the armor oh I heard another one fire bite heh <laughs> ye old skooma pipe passed out in the wastelands outside of Caldera that's, that's how you do it Gotta end up with Daedric. Ooh, that's kind of intriguing. I, I I like that idea. 
I like how I literally just walked to Balmora. <laughs> oh, no hurt, Scrib. Nope, run away. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. It was it was reflex. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> run away. I didn't mean to hurt him. North of Caldera, not south, idiot. That's probably like the a millionth time I've done that, just gone the wrong direction for the freaking mine. I do love how when your speed is so high, you just freaking jump so far off top of these things. Turns it into some parkour. Oh, Alec. A full set of glass before bone mold is, would be, that's ridiculous. Let me, where, where would you even get? I mean, you'd have to, I mean, you could kill a buoyant armager at the ghost gate. They have the, they have a bunch of glass armor. Yeah, ghost gate, that's right. There's a guy wearing it, wearing it too. And the vaults. Yeah, he could rob the Raider Inn. Raider Inn vault. I don't know if it's a full set though. It's a Curus and a helmet. For sure. Maybe boots. Crafting. Trying to think where like the easiest way to get that would be. Yeah, I, th I think the ghost gate. It'd have to be the ghost gate, probably. Uh, Dark Brotherhood exploit. You know, get some gold, go to the ghost gate, try and make some magic happen. <laughs> okay, so if it matches the type, right? Okay, that makes sense. You know what? I'm just going to go dive into a dungeon. Let's just get into a little bit of trouble. See what happens. You can't escape me. I want to uh, keep leveling my conjuration at least a little bit. Oh, you're a, you're a fast freaking Bosmer. Oh, attack, stab, hit. Each type of weapon, too, is that's brutal. I mean, the, the armor alone would take a while, to be honest. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's not do that. Dang, she's doing some freaking damage with the, her little... Height and war axe, and then there's another guy. Oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get the dragon skin. Oh, why are you taking no damage? All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna switch to a spell. We need we need some consistent damage there. That that. The Warhammer was not doing it. Warhammer was not doing it. Not cutting it. Thankfully, he is a Nord and not a Dunmer. Otherwise, we would be in a bit of a more serious situation with Firebite not really doing a whole lot. Okay. All right. There we go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Adventure. <laughs> Adventure to the highest degree. Okay, death. Death has been shared. Let's uh, hop outside. I do want. I do want fatigue. I'm gonna reject that because it's just too, too, 
two X's. Not very exciting level. Oh, there's the Dunmer that I was talking about. Beat him. It's amazing what having full fatigue does for you, though. Boom, there we go. Okay, much easier than last time. All right, let's head back down. So far, feeling pretty good. The Atronach, dealing with the Atronach is so far the, uh, you know, the weak link of the build, but it's also a strength of the build. Having that massive magical pool, you just gotta, gotta remember to summon my ghost before I run out of magicka, which is always the hard part. Or uh, just c carry more magicka potions. Which I guess now that money isn't an issue, it's more me just forgetting it. So again, user error. <laughs> so far though, build feels pretty good. I do want something better than the Iron Warhammer. Although I will say it certainly doesn't feel weak because it has such a massive, like, chop. 28 damage right at the start. Collecting three random items, that'd be pretty good. I would, uh, that sound, that sounds fun. Yeah, I would do that. The, what, the hunt. <laughs> it's like bingo. That one, that one does sound pretty fun. Well, I'll do that one. Every item in the game, though. Whoo. I'm trying to think where I would even pull that list. I guess UESB. Uh, let me hop back up. Not enough magicka. Again, there's that user error. <laughs> Come on. Slappeth. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Okay, well, we're down to the cheap restores. God, he's so fast. He's almost as fast as us. What the heck's going on? Look at this guy. Look at that. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's like Usain Bolt. Why is he as fast as I am? <laughs> I have the boots of blinding speed. Good God. Oh, I need you to aggro, companion. Come on. Come on, attack. Oh, that is... That, that ain't doing it. Yeah, we're gonna have to fatigue potion. gonna save in case I get crit or something crazy right there. Like that. Like that. Running low. And, well, no one saw that. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I freaking knew it was coming. I could sense it. Everything had been working out too well. Alright, I need to remember, I didn't grab any alternate freaking spell damage. Oh my god, that person deals serious damage. Not enough magicka again. Ah, uh, we'll just pop the exclusive. There we go. Come on. Oh, they did they break their... Oh, no, they ran out of arrows, I guess. I was going to say, did they break their bokes? They went to, uh... Switch to just their hands. Oh, Dunmer. No firebite. No firebite here. 
Okay, there we go. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, they ran out of arrows. That's what happened. All right, well, now that we have uh, managed to survive, let's, let's see if there's anything down in the water here. Uh, nothing. Beautiful. Fantastic. <laughs> I guess nothing is better than, you know, a, 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 another massive slaughterfish hounding you to death. No one can match me. Well, you're a Nord, so uh, you're going to get fire bit. Damn, she she two shot us. Holy crap! Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Mind the Nord. Dang, what kind of weapon is she using? I guess we do only have forty HP, but she freaking two shot us. Hold on, let me get my dragon skin back. If that if that's how that's gonna go, just freaking pumping out damage. Let's uh, raise the old armor rating here. Where are you? Oh, already used it. I just rested for 24 hours. Come on now. All right. Well, take two. Okay. Maybe she just rolled max damage twice because it doesn't, she didn't actually do much on that cast right there. Okay. Yeah, that was just, that was lucky. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, that was a normal iron longsword. I guess you just rolled max twice in a row. I felt pr I felt pretty safe, man, sitting right at maybe maybe three health off max. Cure poison, never a bad time. Grief, sheen, never a bad time. Gym feeder. Some Sujama. What is that? Oh, Telvani Bug Musk. Heck yeah. With the retexture. Grief, strength, poison, agility, restore strength, grief, maze, Sujama, unhinging, gold. Yo, you're that YouTube guy. I I believe I am. Yes. Cool videos. Thank you very much. Inwa. I'm glad I'm glad you enjoy. <laughs> That's always awesome to hear. Oh. We're under attack. Oh god, a greater bone walker. Oh, GG. Oh, we tried. It was a good run, everybody. <laughs> we it's over. <laughs> well, Oh, come on, come on, come on. We gotta kill this guy before that freaking bone walker gets over here. I'm drinking the quality. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. This this is more terrifying than the person with max damage. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. There is no greater fear. <laughs> There is no greater fear than the freaking seeing a greater bone walker. All right, I'm not taking the ring mail. That's too much weight. Oh my god. Okay, that works. We'll take that. What? Ah uh, dang! Hey, come on. Hey, I I felt pretty safe this time. <laughs> I I felt pretty safe this time. I was like, what the heck? they're hiding in the walls? <laughs> <You know? laughs> there's there's enemies everywhere. You're just you're, you're just trying to keep me on my toes, make sure I I'm locked in. I was like, where where what what? They they outside the map? What is going on? Well, there we have it, adventurers. Another dungeon tamed. Crushed beneath the weight of an iron warhammer. 
Enemies everywhere. What is this, Mass Effect? Well, <laughs> I would, uh... I haven't played Mass Effect probably since Mass Effect 1 and 2 came out, so... I <laughs> I apologize if I don't if I don't know the reference, but welcome in Bingley. Good to good to see you again in chat. Good to see you again. Let's see, what do we have going on? I haven't played man Mass Effect when that came out though. Sheesh, that was an amazing game. Mass Effect Two. I put I put a a ridiculous amount of hours in Mass Effect Two. I didn't play. I think I did. I don't think I ever beat three, but uh, I definitely did my time on two and one. That's for sure. I just remember the controversy when that came out. They're like, wait, wait a minute. Whoa, hold on a second. You can, uh, you can have sex with aliens? Get, ban, ban the game. Ban the game. No one can play it, you know? <laughs> like, I remember that was like headline news. You know, this freaking game came out. Like, the, the kids nowadays... They're boning aliens. It's over. We've lost this generation. Everybody's shot. They're never going to amount to anything. You know, those freaking blue people. Ah, okay. It's, like I said, it's been a hot second since I played Mass Effect. Those were great games, though. I can't lie. I mean, you know, that'd honestly be one that's worth a replay. Oh my, come on, buddy. Don't do this to me. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right. That was that was some pain. That was a string of hits. There you go. Now you're freaking talking. That's how you do it. What do we just take more dark? Can we just take more dark brotherhood armor? I mean, why not, right? I mean, the the game give I, the game gave it to me. I mean, I'm not I'm not cheating or anything. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's grab a save. And uh, let me check one thing real quick. All right. To the Caldera Mining Company. The land of milk and honey. Which is not at all what they say. Uh, not even a little bit, but that's fine. Here's this idiot Fargoth riff-off with the, uh, you know, looking good. <laughs> he is the lookout. Run while you can. Oh man, wait, I mean, I'm serious. I, I talk some crap about the Iron Warhammer, but it does damage on these full swings. Good lord. Okay, maybe maybe I don't really want to get rid of it that bad. Actually. Maybe, maybe things are actually looking pretty good right now. Alright, we'll grab a quick save. Let's, uh... Get ready our ghost. So how's our magical looking? We're at 111. I definitely need to grab more potions. Let's grab a mark. Alright, mark is down. I don't think I go back to Balmora yet. We're not we're not we're not quite there. Especially when the enemies have them. That is right. Yeah, I've met I've met the end of a Warhammer from a couple people in Daedric Ruins. That is for sure. That sneaky max damage from the the overhead is just ridiculous. I mean twenty-eight gold and you got it from frickin' a reel right at the start of the game. I mean that is that's that's punching. All right, we need a lance emits. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, we may die here. I think we're dead. Oh, run. Run. No, run. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Re Rebaseline. <laughs> so, uh, just, just, just calm down, everybody. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right, all right. No, we're good. We've got this. We're going to... 
We're going to try a different strategy. All right. We're going to bound mace. Get the Daedric mace. Actually, let me check. Is that actually even any better? <laughs> let me let me do a quick check on the Daedric mace damage. I don't even actually know if that's any better. Because uh, the Iron Warhammer is a two-hander. Oh, I went to the frickin' non-UESP page. Ugh. All right, Daedric Mace. Is it actually any better? It is two damage better. Wow, if that, do if that doesn't put into perspective how freaking good that Iron Warhammer is right at the beginning of the game. Jeez, the da I mean, a Daedric Mace is only 3 to 30 chop. Wow. Yeah, you need a, like a, we need like a Daedric War Axe or a Daedric Battle Axe to even make this like worth switching. That's, that's crazy. That is true. And we will, we will still change. I mean, that two damage is damage. But if that does, I mean, that should, that should lay out just how good this thing is, man. I mean, uh, no wonder we felt like we were doing some serious work here. Okay, all right, all right. Oh my god, they deal so much damage. We need to we need to play this differently. We need to get our uh, shield on, do our dragon skin. We need to summon our, our ghost, and then we need to go in. Uh, let me make sure. Let me do a full 24 hours to make sure we have our ability. Um, okay, so here we're going to summon. We're going to... mace we're going to skin now we're going in come on now oh please hit they're too agile <laughs> oh my god they're so agile that is the problem I mean Okay, okay. This one is this one's always freaking sneaky. One more, one more. Come on, come on, you can do it. Just land one hit. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, two down, two down. Okay, now we should be in the clear. We got through it. Oh god. Okay, and thank you so much, Anders, for the the sub in the middle of the absolute the absolute chaos. <laughs> Okay. Breathe. Breathe. Find your find your center. Okay, too much excitement. <laughs> there. These th this one is always sneaky. This one always sneaks up on me. Cuz you you just get mobbed right here in the early game. And if I mean, we need to make an AoE spell so we can actually deal with that. Hold on, we're over encumbered. What do we have? Uh, that's too big. I guess this, we just picked up all this random Dark Brotherhood armor. Now it's really Cloud Cleaver, actually. You know what? We could do a little leveling on our axe. I don't think we should be too worried about being uh, killed now in the rest of this spot. Yeah, we're just going to drop some of this Dark Brotherhood stuff. Somehow my boots of blinding speed came off. How did I did I accidentally I must have accidentally clicked it. Alright, let's uh let's step outside and get that back on. I guess I will take this. Um I'm just tired of hitting. <laughs> I'm tired of ignoring it. So we'll do a little axe leveling here, I guess. Fifteen. We can train some blunt weapon when we get back to town. Although 15 is terrible. This could be a terrible decision. Um, where's my blinding speed spell? Boots of blinding. We got 39. It costs 20. Not enough magicka. Just, just the way Todd intended. Did that go down or was that the sound of... Okay, no, that was the sound of the potion. Come on now. 
There we go. Okay. It's just a matter of time, folks. Just a matter of time. It's broken. That's why we can't use it. Ah, I thought we, uh... Thought we lost it in combat. Let me come down here. There we go. I'll just spam it a little bit. All right, now we can put it on. <laughs> I like how the I, our spell only lasts one second, but because we never left the menu, we still have time, you know, to repair the to repair the item. That's hysterical. That's hysterical. Like, whoa, hey, man, you know. <laughs> That's hysterical. All right. Uh, what are we doing now? Papa Todd requires a sacrifice. Papa Todd, you know. That's how he goes, man. Let me see. What else do we have going on here? You know, I think we're good. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just dive back in. Let's keep causing trouble. Into the depths of a Shinamu. I think there's one more person. So we killed three. Can't say no to gold. Steel Viper Axe. Uh, not really worth selling, because we're already pretty much at capacity. Oh, hold on. What was that? What was that? What was that? Quality restore speed. Okay. Not as exciting as it could have been. You're missing your right gauntlet. I don't think I actually own one right now. <laughs> I think... Yeah, I actually don't own one. We'll have to find one laying around. Uh, did we kill the fourth person? Am I am I misremembering? Or was it three? Maybe maybe it was just three. Or yeah, the fourth guy, I guess, was actually the scout outside, so we're actually good. I forgot that. Uh, he's he's not he's technically part of the quest, but he's not in the main place. Alright, there we go. Get some uh some use shock in the water. The best idea we could ever have. Come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, you, come on. Fif level 15 axe skill. <laughs> all right, all right, screw this. Get out of here. <laughs> That's so painful. <laughs> all right, let's uh, go to the bottom here. It is trapped. We're going to roll the dice. I like how in this world, it's an expensive belt, but it's only 10 gold. They have, uh... They clearly don't know, you know, how much you can charge for fashionable goods. Just, just have Vivek look at a pair of shoes and you can charge, like, 5,000 gold, you know. <laughs> Only t 10 bucks for an expensive belt. If you think that's expensive, Jesus Christ. Um, let me see. Is there anything else we really want to do while we're here at the mine? I don't think so. Let me just run it back. Let me see. Do I stop? Oh, I do have a little bit of coffee left. Look at that. Living up to the name. Just a touch, just a wee bit. I could hear you from a mile away. Oh, not enough magicka. Uh, read the prompts. Reading the prompts does help. You know, using this is as painful as I thought it would be. So I'm actually just going to switch back. <laughs> I love how I said it. I talk, I was like, you know what, let's switch and then, you know, we'll use it and it'll be it'll be good. 
15 is fine. No. Nope. Nope. It, it was as bad as I thought it would be. Okay. What are we going to do now? We're going to um, CB back to town. Actually, we're going to divine because that's the only scroll that we have. Uh, all right. <laughs> Had to flex on the forager there. Oh, no. I forgot we were by Buckmoth. Okay, so I guess we're technically not at a town. <laughs> I forgot where we were. Oh, well. All right. Let's. Uh, I think we can still do some bartering here. You know, we got, we got finagled, yes, finagled, bamboozled, but it all works out because there is a right gauntlet for us to buy here. <laughs> Let me make sure it's the right. Yeah, I need the right. And then I'm wearing the boots blinding speed, so I'm not going to buy the boots. I'll sell the thief ring. We're not going to use that. Would you try to rip off a god? He may, yeah, he may drop a rock on more than your house. You would, you wouldn't have a house to go to, work. You know, maybe that wouldn't be so bad. But yeah, he's taking he's taking out a couple more things than just the freaking house. Whew. Anything else? No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think we're good. I read prompts once, and then I, I began to murder every NPC in sight. Well, I mean, if you've already doomed the world, you may as well, you know, you may as well make it your own, right? Seize the day. I'll come over here. Does the, do we need any blessings? Not, not actually. Um... Nothing here really worth our time. Anytime you're ready. Just don't keep me waiting. Training. What do you train? Uh, not a faction member. No training for us. Do you have any good war hammers, my good man? Negative. You get nothing, and you will like it, he says. I guess we can do some repairing while we're here. So we uh, don't forget and have another mishap like last time. Grab that divine intervention. Now we've completed our quadfecta of teleporting scrolls and I just got arrested for clicking on the bed. <laughs> Hey, they just, they just, they, they know what they're buying, right? They know how good it is. It does look pretty hysterical, though. I will agree with that for sure. You're like... And, and also the fact that it's some underground, you know, assassin cult. And they're like super happy to put on the uniform. Oh, yeah, you know, right? No one will think twice about this, you know? It's like, Jesus... It's like walking around in a, you know, a Heaven's Gate uniform or something. Like, like what do you... Like, people people are going to be like, dude, you're wearing the murder cult thing. Like, don't do that. <laughs> um, what am I doing? I'm on CVing out of here because we're at Buckmoth. Although, I guess I could just run. Nah, well, I'm CV. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I. Hey. Whoa. Hey. I'm not an orc. Not today. Today we are even. We are something far worse. We are a Breton. So we have already disgraced ourselves. Don't worry. We are Regis from Live with Regis and Kelly. That guy looks exactly like <laughs> freaking Regis. I don't know why I thought of that. I'm gonna go check the alchemist at the big crab. Maybe grab some uh, magic potions. 
can't remember what they have in stock, but we'll try it out. You know, maybe people, maybe malls wouldn't be dead if they looked like this. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I know how it's the thing, like the American mall is dying. Maybe, maybe they should just make them look like giant freaking crabs and people would still go. Like, I'd still go, probably, you know? I'll keep some of the Sujama, I'll sell a couple of them. Like, if you just had a giant crab, you know, sitting off the main drag at some random place, like, that'd look pretty dope. I'd, I'd go to the crab. I'd hang out at the crab. A, ch a, ch a, ch a cheap Magicka resistance potion. And they call themselves an alchemist. You only have a freaking cheap magic of resistance potion. Disgusting. Who are your clients? Who Who is even visiting the alchemist if not a mage? A, a d disgusting. Atrocious. R rid the crab of them. All right. That's why the mall's dying. Because there's nothing good in it. Damn it. <laughs> that, that's got to be it. All right. Well... Let's check the enchanter. I don't think we're going to get any any luckier here, but see what they have on scroll. Soul trap command. Ooh, a scroll that has every bound item on it. That's pretty exciting. Actually, that's pretty that's pretty awesome. Some minor heals, jump plus slow fall. Top toad is always very fun. Although slow fall of 80 is like too much, you know, like that. I just don't want to like break my ankles. I don't want to hang around in the air for seven years. Absorb strength. That's kind of exciting. Icebreaker blunt. Oh, an enchanted blunt weapon. That could actually be a good pickup for us. How much damage? 1 to 25. That's actually probably better than the Iron Warhammer. If we swing for max and then are doing frost damage, as long as they're not a Nord, that's probably better. Shock damage on an amulet could be good, too, as a way if we're fighting. I'm going to buy that, because we could be fighting a, uh, whatchamacallum, a Dunmer, and we'll need the shock damage. All right, I'm going to sell Cloud Cleaver. I know. It pains me to do it. You only need slow fall for one point. Exactly. Like, I don't need 80 slow fall. That's too slow. Um, I am going to grab the Icebreaker, though. We'll probably switch to that as our main blunt weapon. Um, let me... And look at that. I mean, it's a freaking good-looking mace. Matches the steel armor aesthetic. I'm going to ignore you. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, that was a decent little shopping journey right there. We didn't get any magic potions, so we still are going to have to go back to Belmora. Although I can loot the Mage's Guild here, actually. Let me do that. You can only loot the Mage's Guild for so long, though, because then I think it's like an in-game month for them to restock the freaking... Uh, chest or like around there it's a very very long delay um so you don't want to depend on it we're now at 239 weight i'm not gonna ditch the iron war hammer just yet i probably will eventually though All right, to Balmora, let me grab those exclusive Magicka potions. Because believe it or not, even though we're only level 3, our 210 Magicka pool actually... We actually need the exclusive if we're like actually trying to, trying to get topped up here. That is a massive Magicka pool. Being a Breton, being Atronach, Intelligence spec at the beginning... Like, this is actually what we need. 
The good thing is, because our magic pool is so big, we don't really have to worry about... using Fortify ever, because we can already cast all of our spells. And let's also appreciate the fact that this person is a restocker of exclusive restores. Like, how awesome is that? All right. Back on the road with our beaten stick, our frost encrusted beaten <laughs> beaten stick. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's go talk to Caius. Turn in the old quest. I actually kind of like this. This may be uh this is a pretty decent starter weapon for this kind of character. I may have to remember that. Good. Training. Blades. Yes. Orders. Fun. Alright, so we got, a, got our gold for just talking to him, which is nice. Alright, let's go and uh, let's do another quest here. Now that we have the enchanted weapon, I do want to try it out, see how that feels as like a starter weapon for this battle mage. All right. We are zipping with these boots of blinding speed. Our client wants the, the hands of Cecilde at the south wall. Fork of Horripulation only? Good god. <laughs> Uh, transform everybody in the game into a bull net. Make it really thematic, actually. That would be, uh, that would be impressive. I, I wonder how much freaking, uh, what were the stats on the fork, you know? Give me the code book. I think I have to persuade her if I remember correctly. Oh, damn. I didn't mean to give her a thousand gold. Crap. You choose to share your time with me? Oh, oh well. I mean, hey, we got a code book out of it, so. It could be worse. <laughs> damn. We just freaking threw a G at her to advance the Fighter's Guild quest. Oh, God. That felt bad. I misclicked. I was only trying to give her a hundred gold. Well, Satilde's so pretty. She gave that book up real fast. A thousand dollars. You can have two of them. Give code book. All right. Decel's Corner Club debt money. This is another super fast one. Head up to Surin. Um. I do want to fight, though. Like, maybe I could just go to the Aldrune Fighters Guild. Actually. I want to I wanna try out the weapon that I just got. Alright, we'll do this last one. I mean, this will take 30 seconds. It's you, right? Yeah, to seal. Whoa, sugar! Hold on. Selling moon sugar. Get some bribes going. Everybody likes some bribes. I spent $200 to get $200. <laughs> that is how you stonks and Morrowind. All right, back to Balmora. We are just speed running the Fighters Guild right now. I should do that, actually. Just, just speed run the Fighter's Guild just for the fun of it. And went into the Mage's Guild. Bad strat. Bad, that's not That's not how you speed run. Bad strat. Not pro. Not pro moves. 
Oh, wait, no, this is the debt money. All right, Dura Gra Ball. He is living in a house here in Balmora. All right, well, we get to try it out. We get to go beat an orc with our ice stick. <laughs> Where, where was this guy? Um, Dura Grow Ball. He's at the top of somebody's house. There he is. He's like up here on the second story. Speak quickly. There you are. Okay. I think it should be fine. Let's see, uh, see if it feels any better than the other one. Ooh, well. Maybe having some fatigue would be helpful. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, that feels better. <laughs> that, that feels better than the normal one. Okay, very nice. There we go. If I'm remembering correctly, there's not a lot in this house. Uh, some eggs, some random junk. Yeah, nothing, nothing too exciting. Fighter skilled speed run continues. Uh, let's check this crate, actually. Ooh, 75. Beautiful, beautiful septums. Memories of Martin dance through your head. All right, Adis. Yes, what is it? So far, I feel like we feel pretty strong. It's mainly just the low health pool that is holding us back. If I had to say anything, it's just having really low health. We may have to think of a way around that. Uh, just got three ranks, which is awesome. And the fighter skilled, so we can go to one of the other towns. Let's do that real quick. Let's go to Aldrun. Start of a Battle Mage series. Uh, yeah, I mean, I am I was testing out the feeling of the start here for a future how-to on Battle Mage. So I always try and play test them and make sure the build feels good at the start. And so far, it feels pretty good. We're just kind of... The the health is the only thing, but... I don't think that's too big of an issue. I mean, I'm still technically a mage character. Uh, Why did I come into the mage's guild? I meant to go to the fighter's guild. Now, let me go talk to the guy downstairs. You're not the guy, right? Yeah, talk to Perseus. Perseus, Merseus. We get a contract from a little, one of the locals, and sometimes they're a bit strange. Elaine Hinnom, a young, buoyant armager, had hired us to provide some extra muscle to clean out the din of necromancers and Voss. Ah, uh, yes. The classic. How can I help? Classic Voss. That takes a l good good while to get up to Voss, though. Um, I may just try and find another dungeon around here really quick. Because getting up to Voss, like I said, getting up to Voss, it takes some time. It's, it's going to take, it, take a hot second to get up there. So, you know, let's just go look for a little trouble. Strike out into the plains for adventure. Like this, there's adventure, look at that. Uh, adventure with no fatigue is, is uh, hard, hard, <laughs> it's harder to do. Well, there we go. At least the destruction magic comes in handy every now and then. Da 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 da. There's a good old buck moth. I do just love exploring, just going out and seeing what happens. 
for a moment between quests. Oh, come here. I wonder if he's out of range. Come on. You can do it. There's that accursed now. The, uh, the, the nightmares, the accursed noise. The freaking cliff racer. Beat him. Come on. Beat him. Oh, God. Maybe we do want to use the bound mace. Just to get a little bit of extra... A little bit of extra oomph trying to hit our bound or our blunt weapon is still pretty low what are we at 35 yeah that's not great here at the beginning I'm gonna make landing our hits pretty hard uh, our rest was interrupted but we still got it off Still got the fatigue back in the tank. Let me take a look around. Anything out here? We're kind of out in no man's land at the moment. The way of the adventurer striking out into the unknown. Uh, beating rats to death with their not bare hands, but enchanted magical weapons. <laughs> it's probably overkill. Let's grab a save. We are kind of out here. Uh, we are about to just end up back in Caldera. Uh, somebody is around me. Is it another rat? I think it is another rat. I think we need some more rats. There hasn't been enough rats this stream. Come on. What is this? Skyrim? I was about to say, is that Cliff Racer all the way in this, like, other dimension aggroed onto us? That would have been ridiculous. Well, funny enough, we just made it back to Caldera. <laughs> well, sometimes that's how it goes. Alright, well, let's t actually, let's stop into the Mage's Guild. I can look at their bound weapons again. Something is like massively aggroed onto us. They are still following us deep. Okay, well, we're just gonna dive in here. <laughs> Alright, let's check the spells again. Armor Eater, Disintegrate, Bound. Yeah, nothing great. Now that we have some money, because we did run out the first time we were here. Mm, feather. Feather is kind of nice to have. Although usually, I think it's uh, like a... Toxic Cloud is nice too. Can we do some spell making? That is something we need to do. It's uh, this person... No? Well, I guess we can go to Belmora. I think I'm just going to make a couple more spells real quick, because we didn't have enough damage. We only had fire, and fire was proving to not be good enough. So... We just learned poison. Let me grab poison. I'll at least get one on target spell. Let's uh, say 20 to 25... It's fine. Maybe get a little area of effect on there. We still have a 75% chance to cast, so let's say poison target. Buy that. And then let me check. Uh I do want some levitate. There it is. 
Do want levitate. We're down to 700 gold, so not a ton left to throw around. Nothing too tourist. exciting there. A tourist. I don't think anything too exciting here. All right. Well, sadly, I do have to away on to the rest of my day's activities. But thank you, everybody, so much for stopping by. I was hoping we could get one more last dungeon in here, but... Um, sadly, I am running out of time as it is, but thank you so much, everyone, for stopping by. Uh, if you're new here, be sure to check out, um, good old YouTube channel. We got the Marwin Combat music one more time for kicks and giggles. This VOD will be posted on the second channel, so there's the link to the VOD channel. If, uh, anyone wants to, you know, look back on this later, see your name on the screen, it's always cool. And there's the old main channel. Awesome to be back on stream. I think I am actually going to plan on streaming tomorrow. I should have some time. And maybe we'll do something a little fun. We'll find out. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. As always, I've been the Coffee Nut. You have been yourself. And I will catch you on the next one.